a whole ten, uh, two replays showing uh, two different ways to go about it. Um, the first replay was basically showing you what which way you could go because it is a headwind. <clears throat> and the second replay is which is the way I was going to go anyway, but it was with a P5 wind ball. Anyway, for this one, um, well, for both drives, the elevation is 10%. Here with the Kingmaker, X mile. Yellow at rough at one yard, three top, three right, and right curl. So notice how much right curl I place on the ball. See how much right curl is the left hand side of the ball up, touching the inner wall circle. Perfect shot! From there, you can play the approach two different ways. Yeah. But bouncing high will affect, with the wind, it will affect it more. One way is you can bounce over from there, or you could try, or you could play the rough button like I did here. And here, uh, I played the 20% elevation <coughs> mid distance here. Take note of this because I missed past the hole. So, like I said, I wasn't going to play my shot this way, but took this just to show you. I only had one go. Perfect shot. Now, uh, the other way, which is the way I went and got the eagle as well, is a P5 ball. I got a APOC 7, but not all my accounts have, so still use the extra mile. <coughs> it's a P5 wind ball. You want better rough as 16 yards, max top 2 left, adjust and then max OP. Because you won't adjust into any o uh, OP, the needle will be slightly slower, not completely slow, but slower than if we did adjust into OP, if you know what I mean. And for here, for the approach, uh, like in practice on one, uh, I got to Min Thorn, where Perfect I played 15%. Shot. But here I went far enough to have a shot with the rapier. Yeah. What I did here was 70% elevation as always and distance of the club. And here basically I looked for 75% and played it from 75%. You know, so 70% elevation, 75% slider.